Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Charming Empire along Sarah's route. And if you'd like to listen to Kay's route, you can visit Rob's channel over on Bromantic. He should be a good way along the route now. Well, I think this is our last episode for Sarah here, though. I really think it is this time. I thought it was last time, but this time I really think it is. <laughs> but let's see. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Oh, we should be hearing lots of secrets right now. In other words, they made you the next emperor since you were in the palace at the time? Indeed. Or perhaps they had planned to place me on the throne from the beginning. You are unexpectedly short for someone so easy to fool. Is it really that unexpected? I retaliate against Soshi's sudden joke. You haven't changed a bit. I'm glad you grew up in the countryside. Soshi smiles gently. There's the old Soshi I used to know. Just as I start to get nostalgic, Sarah clears his throat. We're running out of time. Finish your story. Why are you in such a rush? Dinner has been over for a while now. The palace staff will get suspicious if we stay here much longer. Oh, you're right. I try to get back on topic. So that's how you became emperor. Yes, but I had no power of my own. I was simply the minister's puppet. So she explains that this all happened right after he arrived at the palace, and as a child, he had to do what he was told. Their goal was to create a lively, profitable town like the one today. I knew the town was a mess, but there is nothing a ruler only in name can do. Oh, when he's sad about it. The minister still rules over the military and trade, and Soshi's opinions are never taken seriously. Still? He seems commanding and competent enough at this point. You think he would have taken over? Lately, the minister's behavior has been suspicious. I called you to the palace before he could get his hands on you. But why marry me off? So you'll be safe? I thought calling you to the palace would be better than nothing, but it became clear that I needed to get you out of the country. That explains it. I thought it was just my brother's tool, but he was trying to protect me. You could have just told me the truth. The minister was capable of approaching you directly, and I wasn't sure you would be able to keep the secret. You are easy to read. <laughs> oh, that... you guys don't trust me. I turn around to retaliate before stopping myself. Might be true. The earlier tension in the air has completely melted away. Do you think things can change? No, I know you never had bad intentions. That's impossible. Huh? Why? Suddenly, there's a loud explosion, and I can hear people scream in the distance. Oh no, bad timing. I quickly look outside and see large groups of people running around with weapons. Oh, has the coup begun? Was there a separate plan going on? The guards try to hold them back, but they seem to be putting up a fight. What's going on? Are the rebels really trying to start a revolution? I was afraid of this. So she whispers listlessly to himself, and Sarah doesn't look especially surprised either. Did you know this was going to happen, Soshi? No one told me anything, but I had a feeling that something was going to happen. Then why? I wonder why he didn't tell the guards or run away, but the questions get stuck in my throat. I don't have the right to ask him that when I'm the one who stopped him from leaving. Soshi, you need to leave. But he just calmly walks over and gazes out the window with me. Sarah, I'm sure you knew about this. Why did you force me to talk? Sarah didn't know anything. Hurry, you need to hide. So she ignores me and turns to Sarah. I wanted your sister to hear the truth from you before things got complicated. Do you plan on making her the Empress? The public already knows her as my stepsister, so I doubt the rebels will accept her. It won't be too hard to convince them once I explain her bloodline. Hey, you two. There's no time for this. When I'm finally able to step into the conversation, Sarah glances at me. You're right. We're not part of this fight. Let's go. Okay, Soshi, you can come. There's no point in running if you take the Source of the Fray with you. <laughs> but we can't just leave you here. Stop dilly-dallying. We're leaving. Without Soshi? Sarah grabs my arm and pulls me into the hallway. He's too strong for me to fight back. H hold on, Sarah. Suddenly, we smell something burning. That's strange. I didn't hear about this. You have a traitor in your midst. Hear about what? Sarah suddenly starts running. I almost trip as he pulls me along. W what's going on? No one told me they would set fire to the palace. Sarah confirms my fear that the burning smell is coming from a fire. You were right. We should have run away. 
The plan was to hide out in your room, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Sarah murmurs to himself as we run. The fire is pretty big from the look of the smoke. Can we get out? What about those secret passageways? Sarah suddenly scoops me off the ground. W what are you doing, Sarah? You're too slow, Amane. It's faster this way. But it's... Sarah runs off even faster than before. He must have slowed down for me. There's no time to be shy. Thanks. I bow my head appreciatively. I don't want to slow him down. Sure. Sarah's short answer makes me feel safe in his arms. It's calming to feel him so close by. I tense up my body to make myself light enough for Sarah to carry. When we get to the stairs, the smoke is already rising from below. Hold your breath and close your eyes so the smoke doesn't get in. Okay. Sarah rushes into the smoke, and I can smell the smolder through my held breath. Hold your breath, I whisper to myself. But Sarah can't hold his breath or close his eyes because he's running. Sarah keeps running at a crazy speed, but I can't help but worry. It's so hot. My vision turns red, and it feels like my whole body is burning. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> How are you fine, Sarah? I choke on a sudden breath of air. Sarah firmly wraps his arms around me and shoves my head into his chest. That should be better. Just as I expected to start running, Sarah takes a few steps before coming to a stop. Sorry for getting you involved. Why is he apologizing? He saves me all the time. And I'm happy he's always around. If I try to talk, I might cough and worry him again. I cling to his kimono instead. Don't worry, I'm here. Sarah mistakes my clinginess for fear. He's my bodyguard, after all. I appreciate his protection, but realizing this is just his job brings tears to my eyes. I can only worry about him now because I know I'm safe in his arms. I didn't expect myself to feel this way about Sarah so fast. I wonder if I can confess my feelings to him once all the rebellion and political strife is over. I hope everyone can smell together one day. Everyone. I don't know about that. Suddenly, the heat and smoldering smell is gone, and I can breathe again. We're okay now, but I'm going out. But I'm going out a little further. I see the usual night sky when I open my eyes, but I can see the palace flames rising into the sky if I look back. It's really burning. It's hard to believe Soshi and I were just there having dinner. Soshi. Hey, don't scream in my ear. Oops, sorry. Sarah, Soshi's still in there. I know. I left him in there for a reason. But why? The problems in town weren't his fault. The rebels wouldn't be satisfied with his explanations. He might be a puppet, but he's still the ruler of the country. But still, you know he's not a bad guy, right, Sarah? This country needs a revolution to revert back to its old ways. We need to sacrifice the current emperor's life. Uh, you could, like, fake his death, get him out of there and say he died. Actually, hopefully he used one of the secret passages to do that. Titles don't matter. They do more than you would think. The rebel groups have gotten so big that we need to calm them to reach this country's potential. Think of your brother as a necessary sacrifice in order to rebuild the country. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Sarah gazes at me for a while before looking away. What you say won't change how I feel. This is for the best. Hey, isn't that Sarah? We hear a man's voice ahead. Sarah clicks his tongue and picks up his speed. But the rebels don't come after us. Their target is probably my brother. Well, at least they didn't chase us, but... We escape the palace grounds and go into the town. We keep ourselves hidden in the fuss around us. I hope so she's okay. I clench my hands together so hard that it hurts. Do you... Never mind. Sarah cuts himself off before I can finish. But I'm too busy praying for Soshi's safety that I don't have time to ask for clarification. It takes a while to put out the palace fire. Everyone calms down and the rebels agree to retreat. But it's still too dangerous to go back, so Sarah takes me to the palace shrine for the night. What am I supposed to do now? If the rebels aren't satisfied yet, I wonder if my becoming the Empress will help. I know Sarah wants me to be the Empress. I shake my head. I can't just become the Empress because Sarah wants me to be. Sarah's an important person, and I owe him a lot, but this decision needs to come from me. This decision will decide my country's fate. Can't sleep. 
Sarah speaks up behind me. There's too much on my mind. I speak to him without turning around. I bet, but you need your rest. Sarah doesn't mention anything about becoming Empress. Now's not the time to bring that up. I probably couldn't say no if he brought it up now, so I'm glad he stays silent. Suddenly, exhaustion takes over, and I fall into a deep sleep. Ugh. Yeah, next, okay, episode 16 is the happy end, so we cannot progress any further. Mm. Except we can see this first line that we got back to the palace and, and a building was reduced to ashes. And a group of soldiers is wandering around. But, my best guess, and you know, this is just guess, so it's not spoilers. But my best guess is, happy ending, we become empress, we can marry Sarah because we can do whatever we want because we're empress. Oh, I bet normal end is, I become empress, but Sarah just is like my consort instead of marrying me. He just stays my bodyguard, probably. And now ends my venture as Whitney Houston with Sarah as my Kevin Costner. And, of course, all the young people out there will not get that reference. And if I could actually sing, I would belt out, I will always love you. But I cannot sing, so I, <laughs> I won't torture you all with that. <laughs> but that's all that we can do for Sarah for now. Next episode will be Soshi's beginning. And now we all know it is confirmed that Soshi is not blood-related. So it is not incest. So we can all be satisfied with that when we start his route. Hope to see you all there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>